In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move your UCS, this icon down the bottom here, the UCS, User Coordinate System, into a different position on your drawing, and then save that position as a named UCS so that you can recall it anytime you want within your drawing. The benefit to this is so that I can place things like circles or blocks in a specific position within, for example, this room, two meters by three meters in, 500 radius. Now if I measure from the center, I'll switch my center point on, of the circle, to the end point here, we can see it's two meters by three meters from that point. If I revert back to a world UCS, then it will be x2000, y3000 in accordance with the world UCS. So, first of all, I select my view tab at the top here, and there's a particular panel that I need that isn't shown out of the box. So what I do is I right click, go show panels, and select coordinates. If I want this to always appear on my view tab, what I do now is I save the current workspace and overwrite my existing workspace, or I create my own one and call it Chris, or whatever I want to call it. I make sure that this is my default workspace, my workspace settings. So once I save that, this panel will always appear on my view tab. And what you can see right now is the current UCS is the unnamed UCS. So I can switch that back to world. So this is now zero, zero in accordance with the world coordinates. So if I now place a circle 2000 by 3000, technically that's where it is in the world. Okay, now, go back to my view tab. I didn't save my previous view, so what I need to do is move this back into my classroom. You can see that that reverts back to the unnamed UCS. If I hit this button here, and I click on the named UCS's tab, you can see it currently set as the unnamed UCS. So if I press on there once, you can see that I can name it Classroom A. Okay, and then I could move it again into position in this room, hit the same button, hit the name UCS's, and select Office for this name UCS. So this will enable me now to recall these at any point. So switching it back to the world, switching it back to the classroom A, switching it back to office. You can see it moves throughout the drawing automatically. Okay, so if I set it to classroom, uh, to office, and then I draw another circle, and this circle will be 1,000. 500, so that's 1000 on the x-axis, 500 up the y-axis, press enter, you can see I'll do a 100 radius there, that's where it will be. So this makes drafting a lot easier if you can move the UCS and you can place things in exactly the right place straight away without having to move them afterwards. I hope this is a sort of use. Please feel free to contact Manor Machine if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.